sounds like fishing in an aquarium. Got him. Are you serious? Look at this fish. Holy mother. Freshly caught, not like anything I ever get. Especially living landlocked. Mm, but the bottom comes and finds fish. <laughs> Delicious. Yay. Thank you. Hey, welcome catching dinner. I'm Stefan. Today, I'm on beautiful Lake Havasu here in Arizona. And I got myself a little kayak here that I just rented for a few hours. And I'm going fishing. You might be wondering for what? Well, I'm going for red ear sunfish. I know, sounds crazy. But what's crazy is the picture I just saw at the bait shop. This man pulled out a picture of a 6.3 pound red ear. That's a giant. That's gonna be the new world record. And this area is known for producing world record after world record size red ear sunfish. And the reason being, at least most people's guess, is because there's a lot of invasive mussels in here that those fish are feasting on. And that's their main diet. That's why they call them shell cracker in the south. And they taste great. So today I'm going for quality over quantity. So I'm gonna go for a big one. I'm gonna sight fish for them, go from cove to cove, get away from the wind. And hopefully I catch up with the personal bass. I'm pretty excited. I've traveled a long ways to get here. I just have a few hours. So let's get to it. Let's go fishing. So here's the setup I'm using. A little bait hook with the red worm. Fluorocarbon. I got four pound. Six pound would have been better. And then I got a quarter ounce weight right there. And that's it. Super easy. Hopefully it gets it done today. Look at the bait fish. That's pretty cool. Eight, nine inch air right there. Another one. There's two. And some smaller ones. Right now, the fish should be starting to use the spawning beds. Because it is spawning season for those red ears. From what I hear, May in June in this area or peak so today is May 11th you might not be able to see but I can see clear as day those are all beds but no big red ear yet we'll find them and it's beautiful feel like jumping in. The water is around 70 degrees already. And that uh, is gorgeous. Oh, I just saw a giant sunfish. Biggest one I've ever seen. He's right there. Holy moly. Holy moly. That's a two pounder all day. If I catch that thing, I'm gonna be one happy man. He's big. I see him right now. Look at the size of this red ear. That's a two pounder all day right there. Man. Got him. 
Are you serious? Are you serious? Holy moly! I got him! Oh, oh, oh. This is crazy! I got him! Holy smokes! He's a big one! Can't believe he bit! I just tossed in the direction he was going and I got him! Look at this fish! Look at this fish! Oh, that's what I came here for! That fish is a heck of a sunfish! Holy moly! I haven't seen a lot, but this one is the fish I came here for. And I just can't believe I got him. I just can't believe him. Now I gotta land him. Holy moly. Look at the size. Look at the size. Gotta make sure it doesn't go in the trash right there. Gonna have to back off. There's a lot of trash. I'm gonna try to land them. Ooh. Ooh. He's almost in the trash. Man, I gotta back out. Back, back, back. I'm gonna land them over there. Holy moly. Lake Havasu, baby. Lake Havasu. I just got here and bingo look at this fish I literally just got here man man I don't want to lose him look at the size holy macaroni he didn't like that. Lake Havasu, he didn't disappoint. Look at this fish. Holy mother. Wow. My goodness. Look at this fish. This is no joke, my friends. Woohoo! Look at the size of this sunfish. Unbelievable. Well, I gotta say, Lake Havasu didn't disappoint. Now, I was a little nervous. I was paddling from cove to cove. The water is crystal clear as you can see. And I didn't really see a lot of fish, at least red ear sunfish, saw a lot of bass. And all of a sudden, I saw her on the pile of branches. So I got a little close. I wanted to show it to you guys. And then she just took off in one direction. I casted my worm and it took it. It didn't take long. I could tell it was on and the fight was on. My goodness. Booyah! So hey, I'm gonna keep fishing. Hopefully I see more, but I just can't imagine beating this guy. I mean, this is a big one. So let's keep fishing, but it's fun. The water's crystal clear. Look at that, huge bass. I don't know if you can see, two big bass right there. Little red ears. And it's just crystal clear. So it's perfect for this kind of fishing. Look at that. I don't think they're in full spawn yet. Look at that. And I wish I could put it in the water so you could actually see the fish better. But yeah, those are some big bass. This water is clear. Unbelievable. I can see 20 feet straight down. I'll show you. That was a big carp. Oh boy, look at that catfish. Man, that'd be awesome to catch it. Holy smokes. There's a bass in front of me. Take it off. Man, it's gorgeous. So peaceful. You guys have to try it. This is like fishing in an aquarium. Look at these things. Pretty sure they put them there for the fish. My guess. 
I'm seeing a lot of big bass. Too bad I'm not bass fishing. But these things are huge. Big largemouth. Saw a smallie too. This is an amazing area. There's a bunch of coves so I can get away from the wind. And look at that. Little fish rolls over there. This is pretty shallow right here. But this is the last cove I'm gonna check out. Even though I only found one big one so far, can't complain really. That's a fish of a lifetime for me. Hey, what an awesome time on Lake Havasu. Still can't believe it that I caught up with such a beautiful sunfish. Look at the size of this thing. Over two pounds, close to 14 inches. This is a slab. It was so exciting. The fact that I was able to get it done in a few hours, still can't believe it. So I was just paddling around as you saw, sight fishing for them and saw this one. My heart went racing and the fact that I was able to catch it just made it that much more special. I couldn't believe it really when my line took off. <laughs> couldn't believe it. But hey, it happened. We got the fish. Let's cook it up. It's going to be awesome. We're going to keep it real simple so we can taste it. I'm going to fillet it, chunk it up, and we're going to fry it up so the family can taste it. A little shell cracker, ready for sunfish, aka or phenomenal eating. So let's get to it. Look at the size of these fillet. It's unbelievable. That's a lot of meat, and that's one sunfish. That's the crazy part. So, I'm gonna chunk it up because we're gonna fry it up, have it as an appetizer. So, I'm just gonna cut it in little chunks, just like that. Look, I mean, some thick, thick stuff right here. Come on, on the second one. Pile of fish. We're gonna make some crumbs with our cornflakes here. So I'm about to just get to work. All the frustration from the wheat is going away. Not that I have that much. Yeah, it's pretty crushed. Almost powdery. Ah, well, I'm a little crunchy. There we go. We need half a cup of that. Half a cup. We're gonna do the same with the crackers. Crack them up. Mixing the breadcrumbs with the cornflakes crumbs. And that's what we're gonna use to put our fish in. Next, we're gonna make our batter. We have three quarters cups of milk. One egg. Two teaspoons of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. We're going to blend that. We're 
we have a cup of flour. We're going to add a little bit at a time until it's all blended into a nice batter. I've been having an assistant. Thank you, Erica. My best sister. <laughs> the only one. Oh. That's getting yummy. And that's the batter. That'll be awesome. Our fish has been rinsed and patted dry, and the next step is to take a chunk, dip it in this delicious batter, which is very thick. And then coat it with the crumbs. Wow. Beauty. Our breaded and battered nuggets are about to take a bath. How about that for a tongue twister? We're going to take a bath in some oil. Got mm -hmm. coconut oil. Now, if you can deep fry, the better. We don't have the ability right now. So we're working with this. I'm just gonna have to flip them. It'll be just fine. And you don't want them to touch, so I'm definitely not putting them all in. Just gonna put a few like that. And then we'll do a few different batches. going in. Okay, I need a taste. She couldn't wait. We're still frying the other one and she's like, I want some of the fish. Mm. Should be uh, pretty crispy. Sounds crispy. <laughs> yeah. It's very crispy. Awesome. Is it good? That's what we're going for. And the fish is flaky. Nice. It's delicious. Cook up the rest. Yeah, <laughs> we're working on it. <laughs> Hurry up, Allison. That is good. And one more batch. Unbelievable, we're still cooking the same fish. <laughs> crazy, crazy. And we still have more little strips we're gonna cook separately without the batter so we can taste it without it. But that's amazing. The chunks are filling up the plate. That's the last batch right here. Three batches <laughs> for a sunfish. She's already in line. <laughs> Putting pressure on the shaft, on the cook. <laughs> Wait, hurry up! This plate. Where did I get those? <laughs> yeah, there's a line all the way around the block. You just can't tell, but no, maybe not. <laughs> all this from one sunfish. I've caught walleyes that had less meat than this. That's pretty crazy. The moment of truth. A little tartar. A little tartar sauce. Oh, she got the big one. Oh, and awesome. Erica just made some nice tartar sauce, and she likes it with a kick. So she's got some cactus, what is it exactly, sauce? Prickly, prickly pear hot sauce. sauce. Nice, prickly pear hot sauce. Mixed with the tartar sauce. Now that's as Arizona as it gets right here. This time of year. You can hear the crunch. It's very crunchy. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. It's not too crunchy? Mm -mm. Delicious. The fish is Freshly caught, not like anything I ever get, especially living landlocked. Mm. But Savon comes and finds fish. <laughs> How delicious does that look? Wow. So Very good. It smells great, it looks great. Fish nugget. Mm. Mm. Sunfish nugget. Can't believe it. All this from one sunfish, a little tartar sauce. That's what we got. Wow. It's awesome. Nice and crunchy, very light and flaky, as they said. Perfect. 
fresh like that, tartar sauce, you got another winner. Wow. That was fun, kayaking and be able to see that big sunfish and be able to catch up with it like that. Quite a day on the water. Wow. So wow. there's lots more and I know a bunch of people that are ready to dig in. Just a little lemon, gotta do it right. A little lemon, a little tartar, and uh, that's all she wrote. Enjoying it with the family. Yeah, that's the best Fun thing times. About it. Seconds. Hey, wouldn't an awesome time outdoors? Can't believe that I was able to catch up with that big sunfish in just a few hours of paddling like that. The plan worked. And then I was able to bring it back home, cook it up, and share it with Allison's family. What an awesome time. It was a great way of cooking it. Everybody loved it. So I hope you get to try it. And I hope you get outdoors. And if you can make it to Havasu, well worth the trip. It's a beautiful area. And it's some big sunfish, as you can see. So, hey, hope to catch you next time on your next adventure of catching dinner. Till then, we're out. Ah! See you next time. <laughs>